Well, airports mm. working to get back on track after a power outage at the world's busiest airport in Atlanta. And boy, this has had a ripple effect. A fire mm. at an underground service tunnel brought everything to a standstill Sunday, causing a nightmare for travelers. More than 1,500 flights canceled just days before the Christmas rush, and thousands of people were stuck on planes or in the terminal with limited food. Delta, the largest carrier in Atlanta, thought everything would be back to normal by tomorrow. So let's take a look at how things are going tonight. And Fox 9's BC O'Neill Erie live at our airport with that and one local boys story. BC? Yeah, you know, airport officials here in Minneapolis say that what was going on there in Atlanta has had very little effect of what's going on here. In fact, there have only been a few cancellations today. As you mentioned, I did have the opportunity to speak with a mother who had a 10-year-old son traveling to Atlanta alone yesterday, and he was forced to make a detour. What began as a direct flight from Minneapolis to Atlanta turned into quite the ride for Dita Williams's 10-year-old son. He said, we have a problem. And I said, what's the problem? He said, there's a power outage. I said, what? Jamarian Givens was hundreds of miles away from home and flying alone for the first time when a fire sparked a massive power outage Sunday at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. More than 1,000 flights were grounded and thousands of travelers were left in the dark for hours. It was not a good feeling that came over me. I was like, you know, like, what are the chances, you know? The Spirit Airlines plane that Gibbons was traveling in was diverted to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He boarded a bus but wouldn't arrive to Atlanta to meet his father until more than nine hours later. Williams says that the staff on board watched over her son and kept in constant contact through text and photos, which includes a shot in the cockpit. My son could have been displaced. He could have been, you know, anything bad, you know, but they kept him by the side. It was but fun. <laughs> what was scary? Because I didn't know who was coming to get me and what I was going to do. The fifth grader described the scene at the Atlanta airport as chaotic. Although her son's trip included an unexpected detour, Williams is thankful he is safe. Oh my God, they are blessings. They are just like, I'm so thankful that, they, to, you know, for them to be there at that moment, they are like angels. A happy ending for that family, but as you can imagine, there are a lot of travelers in Atlanta who are none too pleased about how everything was handled. And I'm told that airport officials here in the Twin Cities right now, they are reviewing the airport's emergency plan to ensure that what happened in Atlanta does not happen here. Back to you.